Uh, this is called the Upper Potrero Canyon. Uh, it's a very beautiful place, as you can see. It's a very spiritual place for our people. As you could see, the road coming up is well-traveled. Our people are in here a lot. They come up here to pray. The eagles are here. There's bear here. There's, there's deer. Uh, as you could see coming up, there's quail. There's raccoon. There's a lot of wildlife up here. And normally, there would be water rushing through here, as you can see by the exposed roots on these trees that uh, in the past, the water has uh, come with enough strength to, to erode all the earth around them. And uh, this is uh, one of the sources of water for our tribe. Uh, we have a canyon over the hills here. That's Millard Canyon. Then we have a canyon on the other side of these hills. That's uh, uh, Hathaway Canyon. And they all have water sources in them. You passed a very boggy area. We call that the bog. And there's a lot of water there, uh, even though we're in this drought that is even expected to last seven more years, they say. So this is a very um, spiritual place for us. Uh, as you can, if you're quiet, you can feel it. Lots of native plants. This is, um, for people who aren't familiar with our lands, this is a grocery store. You're looking at a grocery store. There's a lot of food, a lot of uh, sustenance in, in here um, that uh, our people in the past have, have survived on. Even, even the rocks, they used the rocks as utensils. They had uh, grinding stones, they made um, grinding holes in them. They used, they fashioned tools out of rock. They were, they were very, very strong people, very proud people that survived for centuries in, in a climate that gets very hot here, 113 and up sometimes. And, and they were very successful in adapting and living in this environment. Our water ran on the ground and uh, you passed a, a, pipe, uh, a rock a pipeline on the ground. And uh, in the 20s, the federal government um, had a workforce program and they built that all the way down to the reservation, some five, six miles, and then probably another two or three miles on the reservation where it took water right down to the reservation. That was the, our source of water. When I was a kid, it came on the ground and we had lizards and snakes and rabbits die in there and, and we would um, bring it into the house and we would have a dish towel and we would just filter it through that and that's what we drank. We had a cistern where we would store it and uh, that was our source of water. These days, of course, we have our own um, water system. We have our um, own testing. We have our wells uh, that uh, we have storage tanks. Um, we have two one million gallon storage tanks that you passed on the way up so that we can provide our people with safe and sanitary drinking water. And uh, we have water now for a sufficient fire flow to fight fires on the reservation for homes, which we didn't ever have in the past. So we've come a long way.